Hey everybody, this is Dan Joseph. We were doing some interviews on Capitol Hill today asking people about light bulbs and we accidentally broke one of the light bulbs. Which contain mercury. Uh, and can be dangerous if the mercury gets on something or somebody or you come into contact with it. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to call the Environmental Protection Agency because they have a whole list of guidelines about how to dispose of one of these light bulbs properly. So we're going to call them and we're just going to have them walk us through the process just so we don't make any mistakes while we're doing it. Uh, I accidentally broke a uh, compact fluorescent light bulb and I, I want to know the right way to dispose of it. Is there anybody there I can talk to who could walk me through that process? Uh, not in this office. Uh... I was wondering if you could walk me through the proper steps to dispose of the bulb so it, it doesn't hurt anybody or hurt me. Okay, let me give you the phone number for that. It is a specialist that you do want to speak to. We are not too familiar here at the hotline about this, so bear with me one second. Okay. Okay, and these are the light bulb disposal specialists at the EPA. Correct. So I'm away from my desk. Please leave your name and number, there. and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. I am in Monday through Thursday. She's on vacation. Okay, so there was nobody at the EPA to help us clean this stuff up, so we're gonna try to do it ourselves. Apparently, everybody at the EPA was out trying to save us from global warming or something. So, we're gonna need a few materials in order to clean this up properly, and we're gonna have to go find them right now. Uh, the first thing we need is gonna be a glass jar. So we're gonna use this to clean up the light bulb. Stiff cardboard. Oh, this should work. Ooh. We need some sort of sticky tape, like uh, duct tape, to pick up the glass fragments, all right? That should work. That should work perfectly. And we got a gun, too. We're, we're serious about this. All right. Damp paper towels. Place damp paper towels in the glass jar. We're gonna the first step is to carefully scoop up glass fragments and powder using stiff paper or cardboard. So we can see all the, all the gunk here. We're going to use my cardboard piece. We're going to take our jar, our nice MRC jar. You can get one of these, actually, all MRC. We're going to place the debris into the jar. All right. There we go. I love that sound. And we're actually going to place the cardboard in the jar as well. That might, that might be a little harder. Use sticky tape or duct tape to pick up any remaining small glass fragments and powder. Okay, we got our... Okay, we got our tape. So, I'm going to press... Ow! Okay, so now that we got most of the fragments up, we're going to remove the tape, and it says, put tape in the jar. We still have our paper towels. Now here you can see a little bit of where the, the water, or the mercury from the bulb seeped out. We're going to wipe the, clean, the area clean with damp towels or disposable wet wipes. So, see if we can get as much as this as possible filthy, we're in a garage here, but the mercury's gone and that's what's important. Place the towel in the jar. Okay, this jar is getting really full. The instructions say we gotta vacuum up the rest of the stuff that we didn't get the first time around. So we got our shop vac here and we're going to, we're going to clean up some of this mess. Yo, 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 yo. This doesn't work so well on pavement, does it? All right, so now that we've vacuumed up all the light bulb shards, we have to dispose of the light bulb shards that are in the vacuum. We're gonna get another plastic bag, and we're gonna empty the contents of the vacuum into this plastic garbage bag. All right. 
we broke one light bulb and it's created this much garbage in order to clean it up. So that sort of makes you question whether or not this is the most environmentally efficient way to dispose of a broken light bulb. I don't know. We could ask the EPA about it, but nobody's answering the phone over there. All right, so the next step we have to do is we have to take our jar and take our bag, come on inside, and we're going to dispose of them in a temporary, temporary garbage facility. For the meantime, is we're gonna put these into a regular old trash receptacle. But that's not the end. The instructions now say, check with your local or state government about disposal requirements in your area. Some states and communities require fluorescent bulbs, broken or unbroken, to be taken to a local recycling center. So now we're gonna call the Virginia uh, Department of Environmental Quality and we're gonna ask them what to do with our light bulb here. Yeah, hi, could you direct me to somebody who could tell me uh, the necessary steps required to dispose of a broken um, compact fluorescent light bulb? Okay, so we called the EPA, we called the Virginia Department of Environmental Quality, we we're trying to do the responsible thing, and nobody was there to pick up the phone, so we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way and dispose of it in the garbage.